What's up everyone, welcome back. Oh god, move my mic a little closer. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. In the last episode, we finally awakened to our Persona, fought our first shadow opponents, and now, um... Well, wow, oh shit, I just realized our menu is just this now. I actually didn't even use the menu option yet, so... Okay, now that we're on episode 3 and I'm finally looking at this at the fucking menu uh let's see what we got um yeah i've completely beaten down okay sorry yosuke is in the party which is to be expected um actually look at our stats here uh persona status character status and switch info and there we go uh this is gonna be pain i have to level up all these fucking skills up to max i'm gonna try to do this as 100 percent lp so all these are gonna be max all the social links are gonna be max basically i'm just in a world of hate by the end of the summer i'll probably have this let's play final finish so let's actually go to bed no oh, someone will appear on tv you should go back to your room and check the tv and eh, why not oh shit i forgot to fill my water bottle fuck first world problems am i right Oh, look at the calendar, folks. There's a reference to Persona 3 right there. It even says P3 Persona 3. It's raining tonight. Well, something appear on the TV. Nine, chan nine times out of ten, they usually do. In other Inaba-related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was yes, extended to bring is, you uh, up-to-date news on really the incident in the Inaba. The time is now midnight. Alright. Oh, there we go, lads. We see something. The image is there again. Seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. Silhouette appeared. It's gonna be a woman. Looks like she's wearing a kimono. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. What happens if you touch the image on the midnight channel? Would you be able to touch the person on the screen? Uh, do we try? Oh, that's interesting. The image just appeared. Speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. So I go back for the night. Oh yeah, tomorrow's the weekend. Oh, we're here again. What's up? This is... Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. Of course I am. I have summoned you within your dreams. Seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. <coughs> and so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. Okay. Obtain the velvet key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Okay, so when can I start fusing shit? Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one price for this assistance. My blood. Okay. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Okay. I understand. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. I'm the only one that can hold multiple. It is like the number zero. Empty yet holding infinite potential within itself. Honestly, that's the biggest flag. Just being a Persona user and you can just hold as many as you want. Special. The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened 
through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. Oh, God damn it. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's ability. All right, time to do supports, y'all. Controls, control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. Oh, fuck, I just realized I'm gonna have to get a guide because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and I want to percent this. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Okay. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> okay. Till we meet again. Okay. That might do right. Oh shit, no, we're still going to school. Yo. God damn it. You saw what was on last night, right? Uh, maybe. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. I mean, uh, true. I mean, now that we can go in there and kick ass. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Yeah. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims, if someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. I'm right. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Uh, unless we show them, which would be relatively easy. Has to be us. I want to keep my word too. Let's bring it into this. <laughs> you do it. Uh, I want to keep my word too. Totally. A promise is a promise. Hell yeah. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Oh, finally. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Definitely. Then again. You managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. It's because I'm the uh, protagonist, man. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Fuck yeah, cunt. What are there, partner? Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stir in the friendship between you and Yosuke. Oh shit, are we actually going to do it? <laughs> yes! Oh yeah, baby. Thou died, I'm thou. Thou established a new bond. Oh, what the fuck? I hope that doesn't show up in recording. No, I hope that doesn't show up. Okay, that's probably show up in recording. It brings thee close to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when Kareem Persona the Magician Arcana. Yes. So you form a bond with Yosuke. You feel the power in your heart strengthening. Call Igor's words. The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links. Is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? You have established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the uh, Magician Arcana. Now wake up and knock down an alley during battle. Your ally may get knocked down. Oh, bleh. Your ally may help someone who is knocked down get back on their feet. Ah, oh, sick. Oh, hey, GA. Uh, GA, um, about yesterday. We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Yukiko san? Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Now that is hella sus. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? Yep. Oh, no. All that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. Oh, shit. That kimono looks like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed.
emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. Email? Don't don't people like text these days? I called her earlier in the evening though, and she said she'd be at school today. Okay. I. So that works. Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. You said that the information you gathered in the other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? It's a possibility, but... We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. Okay, got options. No good! Her voicemail picked up! God damn it. She, she's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? I mean, let's just give her the benefit of the doubt. She, she could just be hella busy. S stop it! There we go. Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Probably. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. <laughs> come on, Yukiko. Pick up. At least maybe she's not there. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. All right, we're good. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. Um. Uh. Nah. No, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. Okay, so she's still safe. There we go. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation, and she had to help out. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. Oh, God damn it. She'll be at the end tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was Still. totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko son inside that place? <laughs> <laughs> the way she said that was hilarious. Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes mm. sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's yeah. still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. The TV world. Right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Oh, it's early morning. I thought this was after school. Oh, now it is. You explain Shia in detail again about what happened last night. Yeah, so I kicked Yosuke's uh, other... Ass. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Oh shit. There's a person right there. Yeah. Dude, Hello? There so uh, many customers oh, Snapchat. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. Let's hope they don't take the TV. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Um, what do we do? Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Could be. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. I don't play with chip on me. A wall? Cover me. Try beckoning Teddy over. Something bit you. Ow. What's wrong? Uh-oh. That, that woman's looking at us. Shh, not so loud, you idiot. Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? Uh, no. I'm fine. I think I'm, <laughs> I think I'm going to cry. Oh, come on. Don't cry. <laughs> Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. <laughs> I love she's so caring. Hey, you. We know you're in there. Oh, Jesus. No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear like always. God damn it. This land feels so barren. Shut up. So Fuck. there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. <sighs> okay, so it's empty. Go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone. But 
still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Hell yeah. Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's midnight channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. I already am. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Oh, you see, it is, um, insert number here. Exchange cell phone numbers with Yosuke. Alright, don't forget to watch tonight. Are we literally still in the phase of fucking flip phones? Can we get a rip in technology in the chat, boys? Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? Me watching Midnight Channel again tonight. Screw that, I'm gonna go play video games. Damn it. I'll let you guys guys. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. Well, I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first pick. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. Okay, so she's not the culprit. And remember... The only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. Oh. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. You got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. <sighs> no matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. Okay. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case. Regarding Saki Konishi. Christ, okay, for that She's one. the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. Hmm. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide it. It's like they were meant to be found. True. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? God damn it. Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Could be. Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? I wonder who he's thinking of. Welcome home. Sup? How you doing? Well. The answer's hard. Okay, what's the quiz show about? God damn it, I still can't answer. Okay, fridge? Okay, I guess I go sleepy sleep time now. Okay, let's continue watching. Maybe we might be able to find some this time. It's raining again tonight. There's something here on the TV. Oh, we got anime cutscenes, boys. That means... Good evening. Sup? Oh, goddamn, of course you're in the show. <laughs> I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. I'm out to 
catch a whole harem and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine! Well, here I go! Boner activated. Okay, that was a little too sexual even for me. That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Challenges. Now, no shit, she even said it was her. Oh, fuck, of course I have your number still. Nope. That was Yukiko san for sure. It looked like her. I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Uh. Try contact Yukiko. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know her number. Oh, yeah, I can just call Jia. Okay, that works. Tomorrow's Sunday. So let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. All right. Promise me I'll with Yosuke tomorrow, because I go better early tonight. Oh, yeah, it's the weekend. Why do Japanese high school students get a one-day weekend? That's actually so much ass. Damn, I'm looking fresh. Oh, good morning. What's up? Seems only Nanako is here. What's your dad? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. If you, need, if, if you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have an important business with Yosuke today. How about the six-year-old holding, the, holding up the shack all day? Uh. I'll be fine by myself. Are you sure you don't have any friends to play with? Oh, I guess so you can just the chill on the TV will now. Be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast. Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Jesus Christ, you're more responsible than me. Like my uh, my bed in a fucking mess. Somewhere? You decided to go out. All right, let's go chill. Daytime. I'm all right here. Sorry for the holdup. Uh, no worries. Some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Okay, since when did you get like fucking hardware, dude? We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Uh, definitely the katana, my dude. Give me that ah, boy. You've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. Oh, okay. As for me, <laughs> that's hey, a rip. Maybe both would be good too. Kind of like this. Uh. Or like this. You're, you're doing the exact same thing, bro. What about this? Okay, chill out, dude. Oh my fuck. No. Why? Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. <laughs> well, this this is going well. Fuck. Huh? Oh crap! I mean, no, 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 no. This this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Oh, Anyways, man. we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. I'm an innocent bystander. Leave me alone. Here's where I can see them too. I said now! But, but, this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> You're taking the police station with Yosuke as suspects. Are you for real? I was literally just chilling! I hate this game. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. Hey, I got dragged into this shit. All I was doing was sitting on the chair. And why is there a fucking Jack Frost beside you? Like right you know fucking, going on around like town. right fucking here. Been stationed everywhere. For God's sake. Well, lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. I owe you one. You're sorry. Hey, this is all your fault. God damn it. The weapons weren't confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Oh no. Already? Seems like it. But she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. 
but this better not happen again. It won't. <laughs> I'm kicking your ass again, Yosuke, after this. Piece of shit. What's it to help? Oh. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? I won't tell if you won't tell. Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Ah. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days. So we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? No. Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. Jeez. And with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Are you trying to pin her as a suspect, bro? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Mm -hmm. ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Fucking idiot. Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Sure. This is interesting. We have a theory that she might be culprit or some shit. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san? More than likely. There you are! Hey. Sheesh, what are you guys doing? I blame everything on Yosuke. I've been looking everywhere. Oh, uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that Keep aside, going. the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently, Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. The cops are agitated. Let's all calm the fuck down, please. Y you're right. Okay, we go into the TV world and we try to find her. If the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. Hell yeah. I'm going to. Okay. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. I mean, I still got a golf club, so. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Here Come we go. On, follow me. Oh, okay. Oh, they have a shop like this here. This shit must be expensive, are. bro. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess. They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. All right, well, this place is up my alley. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. That's perfect. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I, I know how you feel, but... You don't! Okay. You don't know shit about how I feel. Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that. Okay, but stay behind us. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second.
Uh, I mean, sure, but when you're fighting a bunch of shadows and you don't have a persona, then we got a problem. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. Okay. All right. Man, what should we get? Hey. Mind picking out something for me too? Uh you're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. Okay. Receive five thousand yen from your state. Alright. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? Well, that was easy. We need a minute. You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. That's why we Grab some bags. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. No problem. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Under our school uniforms? Okay, let's try that. Why can't we just put something else on? All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Okay. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Okay. Do I actually want to start buying shit? Have you come take have you come to see my art? Please look around, take your time. Okay, here we go. Uh I'm gonna go ahead and buy myself this katana. Fuck yeah. Okay, let me get some armor. Uh okay. I'll buy Chamo for you. I know that. They can get a weapon for Yosuke real quick, so I'm just gonna hold up on that. Accessories. Uh, increases strength and endurance by one, but I'm completely out. So do I got any? Okay. Actually, I don't even know if we can access that part yet. Oh well, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. Oh, there's a bizarre door before you. Seems the others can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. Ah, I got time. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. Oh, hello. We have been expecting you. Oh, there's a new face here, too. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> Again. Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Okay, so when can I start fusing shit? Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple go. persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. I'm gonna have to take a minute and actually, like, grind. This, in other words... That was, that's going to be fucking fun. Of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. Okay. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. Very well. You recall you have the magician's social link with Yosuke. It seems that when persona of the magician arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. 
Perfect. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. Hello. <laughs> oh, you look familiar, bro. Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. This girl seems unfriendly. You feel like you met her somewhere before. Uh, I've met you somewhere. Huh? Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. Okay. As you can see. <laughs> she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice. And forgive her for her impoliteness. Okay. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Oh, usually get a nice Using comeback. these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. Okay. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. All right. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. I'll never be back in here, bro. <laughs> never. I look forward to it. Until Imagine. then, farewell. Nah, JK, I'll be back here. I'm probably gonna take a minute to like grind next time. Dungeon, I can just social link up. Oh shit! Okay, back here again. Um. All right. How do I? Okay, there we go. Press. There we go. Fast traveling. I'm here really stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. Tell me again why we have to wear our uniforms. All right, let's get going. Gee, it's not too late to... I'm going! Okay. Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? Oh god, trippy, 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 trippy! My ass. Oh, it really is that bear from last time. What are you doing? You okay? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. I'm thinking about himself all this time. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. Oh god damn it! Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> uh, so. Did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. Oof. How rude. You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow. There's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? Miss? Uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I, I don't know. I haven't looked. Okay, we better start looking then. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. I'm, I'm ready with my uh, imitation katana. Oh, she's running. Okay, let's get going. Oh, hello there. That's the... A castle? You think this is the place they showed on TV last time? Most definitely. You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. 
And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? About like 90%, but... I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem odd? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story, I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? I had just tried to OBS real quick. Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead. That is a bad idea. Hey, wait, don't go alone. Uh, hold on. Checking Snapchat. I should Jeez, not do this. Better follow her. I should not be doing this. I should not be checking Snapchat while I'm in the middle of recording a, a video. Let's go. Ran up on her own. Lots of shadows in the castle. Dangerous to for a girl by herself. Dude, are you serious? Why didn't you tell us before? Let's find Chie. Okay, can I go back? Fuck! Okay, you're you're using whatever weapon you come with first. Take this, okay? Three revival beads. Just two. For you, collect them myself. Peach seeds and soul drop. Careful. Alright, here we go. She hasn't gone that far yet. She ran off all alone. Damn it, let's go. Uh, wait a second. The shadows have gone aggravated ever since you two got here. Probably attack you as soon as they find you, Sensei. Try to get the jump on shadows before they can attack you. Press the action button to attack. Try to limit the attack so the shadow does not make the first move on you. Okay. Oh. There we go. I two enemies. Beat them uh, can we get a little analytics over here? Level six. All. all right. Uh. Well, that worked. It's down. Now's our chance. You ready? Okay. Oh yeah. Ready or not, here we come. Shuffle time. Ooh. See mysterious cards before your eyes. How about you told you? When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. Okay. When enemies are defeated, a shovel time may occur and a number of cards will appear in your mind. Uh, so this is like the same thing that happened in Persona 3 4, but we get like uh, a, an all-out attack or some shit, and then we can get cards. You won't be able to draw one card. Select the card and make new scenario situation. Coin counters or... I'll give myself a new Persona. Trigger one more during battles and defeat enemies with an all-out attack. Make shovel time occur more. Use this knowledge to defeat enemies in a way that gains the maximum amount of rewards. Alright. Oh! Congratulations, Sensei! Hold up! I get it too. Okay, so this last skill is gonna be Tarakaja. Interesting. Okay. Oh, it's going here. Oh, the stairs. Uh, I mean, I would definitely like to go, but I want to explore a little, get a little bit of experience. 
Oh, there's here's a lad. I smell two All right. enemies. Beat Let them me. Up. All right, partner. Okay, that'll help. Soda. You hit its weakness. Smart <laughs> move, Sensei. Whack! Oh, <laughs> ball sack. You got Garu Bash and Dia. Oh, hell yeah. It's down. Now good answer. And destroyed. Easy. Oh, there's more. Money, avoid counters, skill card, or personas, luck. Oh, oh. I'll get a skill card. Why the hell not? Sukukaja. Alright. Okay. Uh. How do I heal? Um. There we go. Okay. Oh, we got Chessy Boys. No revival bead. Okay. Okay, so pressing A will swing the Tana. On in here. Kind of shadow. Motherfucker! Oh no, they got the advantage. Whoa, two oh. Well, that works. You. Never mind. are all actually good. I do want the experience up, but also Pixie just for more personas. Uh, get the experience up. Okay. Uh, at least it's better that I can hour I pick them than in uh, Persona 3 Portable, where I had to, like, memorize them and pretty much just guess. Get over here, smug son of a bitch. I smell two enemies! Beat them up! Go, Sensei! You knocked nice. it down! Great, Sensei! Go for broke! Lowdown! Persona! There we go. You hit its weakness! Let's go to answer! Out of our way! Get that motherfucker. The bomb. What do we got here? Ah, um, my Another, okay, I'll I'll grab Pixie. I gotta step up too. Oh, level five. Hell yeah. Okay, getting a lot of revival beads, which is pretty sick. Oh, now I have access to uh, Dia. All right. Okay, now let's go look at the other floor. Oh, out of the way here. Get over here, you. What was that? There are two enemies. Hang in there. Come, Jiraiya. Yosuke's on the warpath. Her soul's been going. You hit its weakness. Easy. Oh, no, it's probably actually limit the SP. In a little low on that. What we got here? Another skill card. Uh, I'll get Devil. I'll get I'll get uh, Uko Box. Another level for me. Right. Nice. Nothing like a good couple level increases now. All right, let's go to the next floor. Actually, yeah, I went to the other way. That that led a chest. Hmm. You're good at fighting, Sensei. Credit you, Yosuke stinks. 
Shut up, Ted. But I gotta admit, you have a knack for this stuff. I mean, I did fight like three enemies before you. Doesn't he? So you should be the one to give Yosuke orders during a fight. I'm uh, way ahead of you, my friend. It pisses me off to hear what hear Teddy say that stuff, but I won't cause trouble to my own thing in battle. So don't hesitate to order me around. I'm counting on you. Okay. Oh, she is. She ate Chan's in there. Uh, hold on, just in case. Uh, what do these seeds do? Source 20 HP, revives an ally. Um, okay, let me go ahead and restore some SP real quick. Okay, because there's going to be a boss fight up ahead, I remember that. And it's also a boss fight I also helped my brother with. <laughs> so... Chie, are you alright? How'd you get this far about getting beaten? Chie? She said that bed looks good on you. Yukiko-san? You hated my name. Yukiko. Snow. Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient. Worthless. But it's perfect for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Still, Chie told me that bread looks good on you. Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing saki Senpai's too. Yeah, this castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Yukiko? Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's bright and strong, and she can do anything. She has everything that I don't. Compared to Chie, I'm... I'm... No one's worthless, dude. Chie protects me. She looks after my worthless life, and I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... Chie is so kind, huh? What a joke. Here we go. Round two. What? Oh, man. Is that... It's just like Yosuke. She lost control over her suppressed self. Now it's a shadow. Are, Are we, we talking, talking about, about that, Yukiko? <laughs> she <laughs> says I'm protecting her. her. She, she says, says she's, she's worthless. worthless. <laughs> <laughs> that was sticky, right? What are you saying? Yukiko, so good looking. So fair skin, so feminine. She's the one all the guys drool over. When Yukiko looked at you with such jealousy, man, did I get a charge out of that? Yukiko knows the score. She can't do anything if I'm not around. I'm better than her. Much, much better. No, I've, I've never thought that. What are we gonna do? We need to protect Chie. We need to protect Chie-chan right now. No, don't come near me. Don't look at me. Chie, calm down. No, no, this isn't me. Uh, I beg to differ, Chie. Wait, stupid. Don't say anything else like that. <laughs> That's right. I'm the one who can't, can't do anything, anything alone. alone. I, I can't, can't win, win as a girl, girl let, let alone as a person. person. But you can go. She depends on you. <laughs> That's why she's my friend. I'll never loosen my grip on her. She's too important to me. No! That's not how I think of her! <laughs> so you're just going to turn your back and deny me again? But things are different now. When the time comes, I will be the one left standing. Still you. Shut up! You're Don't say it! Chie, no! She's going to say the N-word. You're not me! She said the N-word. <laughs> this is what happens when you say the N-word, folks. Chie! Oh, fuck. 
your powers to save Chie Chan. Okay. All right, second boss fight, Shadow Chie. Yes, sir. Then you're gonna pay the price. Shut up! Quit being such a pain. Chie, just hang in there a little longer. Roger that. Huh. Think, Think you, you can, can stop, stop me that easy? Yeah. Okay. First stop. I'm gonna do the buff and debuffs. First the debuff and. I think you're weak to Garu in this sense. Good answer. All attacks are the best answer. Alright. Like okay, for some reason she has access to Zeo. Bottomless Envy. Uh, that was intense. You okay? okay, I got you, fam. Okay. You know, she got the green ball, so she's gonna be resistant to Garbo. She's resistant to the physical. Damn it. Who do they think they are? Heal yourself, friend. Second degree will end. We're gonna go back there. Oh. You got problems. basically be the boss. I'm a little bit low on SP, but that should be okay. Nah. Oh, but Bufu. Alright, that's her persona skill. Specialized in ice. Not necessarily, ne not necessarily sure why she has access to Zeo. I guess it's just to piss Yosuke <laughs> off, really. Okay. Before we end this. Don't make fun of me. You're, you're nothing against me. I can do this all day. Okay. Kill yourself. Screw this, I'm gonna go with Cleave. I'm cleaving this bitch. This should be it, actually. Oh, fuck. Don't do it. Don't kill him. Okay, we're good. You okay? You might want to defend yourself. We got this. Oh. That was a little close on Yosuke's part, but hey, another boss fight down. 7,000. Gotta step up too. There we go. Get wrecked. Uh, uh, Chie, are you 
okay. What happened? Uh, your shadow turned into a demented version of your persona and tried to kill us. What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Chie. It's all right. B but more than that thing. B but I. He's right. I went through the same thing, so I can understand. I mean, everyone has a side like this. They do. Yeah, kind of get it now. You are me, a side of me I couldn't forgive, that I tried to ignore, but you still exist. You're a part of me. Strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. She has faced her other self. Obtain the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The Persona Tomoe. You good, fam? Uh, I... Um... It's true that... Part of me feels that way. But I wasn't lying about being friends with Yukiko. Like we didn't know that already. Oh. Hey, Chie! I'm okay. Just a little tired. You don't look okay at all. And I bet you can use the same power we have now. Hell yeah. Huh? Hey, what should we do? Uh... Maybe... Going back might be a good option. I agree. We need to let Chia rest. Good night's sleep and she'll I be fine. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. Nope. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? Uh, I... Uh, if those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. I'm not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Because we were always together. I was able to act that way. If we weren't, I'd... Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. Okay, so she's safe until the fog fog lifts. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Why? I don't get it. Uh, we'll explain further later. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here. And that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. Uh, but I mean, she still needs to eat and drink and use the urinary disciplines and all that other stuff, so... I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean, they were killed by their other selves? Mm-hmm. The fog usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. But, but I can't turn back now. We've come so far. We literally just went, climbed one floor out of like the potential five million floors. Yukiko's still here. She's all alone. She must be so scared. Then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san. Th that's... You don't know what's up ahead. The enemies might be even stronger. If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail, no matter what. Am I wrong? <sighs> All right. Besides, when you get you geared up, grabs onto his fucking head. I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. Let's go together next time. No worries. We're definitely going to save Yukiko-san, right? <sighs> right. Hell yeah. Alright. Now Chie is now 
Honorary member of the three of us. I, uh, I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's gonna split open. Are you guys okay? Uh, well, I think I'm okay. Definitely That's not, right. though. You're not wearing the glasses. Oh, yeah. What's with those glasses? Did your eyesight go bad? What happens when you've been staring at a computer monitor for the last, like, 12 hours of your life? Man, you didn't notice until now? How panicked were you? Um, ta -da I got a pair ready for Chie-chan, too. Here you go. Here you are. Ooh. Nice. Whoa. What the? This is awesome! It's like the fog doesn't exist! Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I made them right now. You didn't tell me she was coming. It was all so saddened. I mean, sudden. Saddened. Huh. So that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it alright if I keep these? Sure. So show. We'll have to stop here okay. today, but I'll be back with these puppies. You guys better not come here without me, got it? Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san, right? Right. You're. I disagree. <laughs> now you're right, fam. Yeah, I agree. I promise to. Let's save Yukiko then. Well, tomorrow. Or the next right. day. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Rip. Hey, would you mind being our leader? Of course I have to be you the leader. You were the first to get this power. And you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. I'm cool playing second banana. Uh, leave it to me. Uh, sure, why not? Okay, we're counting on you. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man, not an executive. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. I'm with Yosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. What? Teddy, would you please stop talking? Oof. I'm really on edge right now. You've been unanimously <laughs> appointed team leader. Your days of pursuing this case alongside your friends has begun. Coming again. Of course. All right, now we start the full social link, which I guess like the same as before. It's gonna progress as the story goes on. Mint. Okay. Let's get some rest for today, so we're ready for tomorrow on. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. After a few days of rain, fog may set in. Keep an eye on the weather while continuing to explore the TV world. Exploring the TV world will use up your after school or afternoon time. Okay. I think also we can start doing social link shit right now. So, I'm going to have to look up the date when you can go needs to be saved. And I'll have probably start doing social link shit. News is on. That's all for World News Tonight. Coming up next, the local news. Hmm. Dojima's quiet with stern expression on his face. Right. Uh, you... Hey, mind if I ask something? Sure. You aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? Oh, fuck no, dude. Well, what happened at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. It bothers me too, because I did shit all. Is there anything you're not telling me? Of course not. I see. Well, it's just been nagging at me, that's all. Well, what's wrong? Are you fighting? No. No, we're, we're not having a fight. This isn't the police station. Okay, we can bring it to the police station. That's where all the guns are. Okay, I'm kidding. Or am I? I agreed to look after you. So don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. Sure. Got that? Yeah, about that. And now, <laughs> We're our fucked. weather forecast. Due to high pressure fronts from the west, 
that sunny spring like weather will stay with us for a while longer. Hell yeah. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? Because when she says it'll be sunny, it always is. She's a meteorologist. She just explains what will happen. Uh, she's not really deciding it. <laughs> Never mind. You know what? Let's just go with it. Yes, she decides what it's going to be. The news continues, heedless of the heavy atmosphere. Hmm, Jason. Don't fight. It's not my fault. Dad's wrong. My teacher says that when two people fight, both of them are to blame for what happens. No, there's a third party! It's Yosuke! It's on TV. Okay, I think we should be okay from here, maybe? Uh, I don't know about the rain, though. It looks like it could be a bit cloudy. I'll have to check, uh, uh, Google real quick. Sorry about that. I killed the moon, didn't I? Eh, don't worry about that. Is there anything in the fridge? For fuck's sakes. Nothing in the fridge. I got on bad terms with my uncle within, like, the first, like, week of being here. And now we go to status. She's all four. Fucking scrub. Okay. She has Skewer and Tarakaja, and she'll learn Fufu. Wait, hold on. Okay, she's mixed. Do you recall that she is more on the physical side? I think uh, Yosuke is also a mixed attacker. And I'm just here with the ability to change anything. Um, great, maxing out all five stats is going to be a chore and a half. Okay, so we got Investigation Team and Yosuke. Also, we have quests. That is a lot of quests. Do I have to 100%? 69. Okay. Not enough. It, it's No, it's perfectly enough. Uh, What does she have? Well, there's shoes. And chain now. Oh, we can change our outfits. Default clothing. Winter Yasuo outfit. Winter clothes. Okay, we actually come with outfits. All right, next time we actually go into the um, into the TV world, we'll uh, be doing that. All right, so that's going to go ahead and conclude today's episode of Let's Play Persona 4 Gold. In the next episode, um, I'm probably going to do a bit of research and probably have a guide for 100% for attempting 100% this game. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.